I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat and it is pepper season. All peppers all the time. I got a box of pods today from Clayton Hollingsworth. I just did a uh, unboxing video that you guys, some of you guys saw. Uh, in there was this. Diabolical little monster. This is a chocolate primatale. Now the chocolate primatale over the past several years has been the hottest pod I've eaten. Last year I ate a couple that were on par, but consistently this is the scariest pepper on the planet. And I don't care what any book says, talk to chili heads, they'll tell you. Um, I don't know a single chili head that eats peppers that is not under the impression that this is the hottest pepper there is. It is what it is. So I'm gonna cut this pepper open. I'm gonna take a few pictures for Instagram. I'm gonna make a teaser video. We're gonna make a teaser video together. And I'm gonna tell you that I think this is gonna be the hottest pepper that I probably, it's certainly gonna be the hottest pepper that I've eaten so far this season. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised if it ended up being the hottest pod. Again. Oh, wow. You should see how cool this thing looks. You're gonna in just a second. Wow, look at that. Wait till you see how pretty this is. Really is a drag with that little shadow there. Anyway, super beautiful interior. <sighs> Man, it smells so good, but I know what this is going to do to me. All right, so the chocolate primatale, real quick, I'm going to stall for just a second. The Primatale itself was created by Chris Saunders in the UK by crossing a seven pot Primo with a yellow Fatale. And the, the ending result was a red Primatale. Now the red Primatale is just piping hot. Uh, then the chocolate uh, variant came out and that's what this is. All right, doesn't taste like chocolate, it's just for the color. And we're gonna eat this thing right now. We're gonna make a teaser video, okay, for uh, See if we can get more people over here to watch this video. We'll do this together. You ready? On the count of three. Wait, hang on. You ready? One, two. Okay, itch on my. Would have been a blooper. Okay, here we go. Ready? All right, guys. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. This. See, there's a blooper. Golly. I hate bloopers. I'm sorry. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. This is a pod that was grown by um, Clayton Hollingsworth. This is a double, this is unprecedented, a double blooper. I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. Clayton Hollingsworth grew this. This is a chocolate primatale. And it doesn't matter what you read in a book, this is the hottest pepper in the world. I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. And if you wanna see the whole video, go to my channel. How's that? All right, now all of the pods I'm eating now, it, uh, even from the exact same grower from the same plant, are gonna be a lot hotter in August. But that's a hot pepper. And I'm not knocking any of the other pods I've eaten from any other grower, Linda or anybody else, or, you know, Tomas, but just saying that the chocolate primatale is the hottest pepper. The burn is wicked. It's it's like so noticeably hotter than anything else I've eaten so far this year. It's got an aggressive burn, like a violent burn. It's 
sizzling in the back of my throat. Like, it's a tremendous saliva maker. I don't like spit in videos. I think it's so gross when people do that. But boy, if I was, I'd be doing that right now. It's very, very hot. And when your mouth salivates like that and you end up swallowing it all, that's when the heat starts moving to the back of your throat because you're pulling all that capsaicin into the back of your throat. Wicked hot pepper. Um, as far as the flavor, it was smoky, which I just love. I get disappointed when I get a chocolate pot that isn't smoky. Um, it was just delicious. It was, um, there was no sweetness to it. It's very earthy and bitter and a little floral throughout the entire thing. So earthy, floral, and bitter just kind of cruised through the entire pepper. Now the pepper's obviously long gone. And all I have now is, it's a little bit of that remaining super hot chinense flavor. Just a wicked hot pepper. Um, and it's small, it's a teeny little guy. You know, if, okay, so if you're a chili, if you're not a chili and you ate this, I don't know if you could get it down, you know. I think your body would just want to reject it. Just having it in your mouth, you'd be like, ah, this is not going to be a good thing. So you probably wouldn't be able to get it down. If you were to be able to get it down, it would create in you a day. It would, you would remember until your last. I'm really serious. It was just, it's just violently hot. It would take you to a place you ne you've never been. You know, in our heads, you everybody watching, I'm talking to you. Your level of hot, all the, the hottest thing you can ever imagine, that's the hottest thing in the world. It's for, you can't imagine something hotter. You can only imagine what we've experienced. So there, is, there are peppers that are going to be, you know, it goes so far beyond what you believe is hot. And that's what the chocolate primatale does. Stupid hot. Um, it's got that pulsating kind of throbbing heat going on. It's peaked and it's on its way down. It's a t nine out of 10, you know, it's got, mo in fact, most chili heads would say it's a 10. You're gonna have some people that will call it a nine or an eight, but most chili heads are gonna say this is a, a 10. And uh, you gotta remember, this is also early season pepper. You eat this, this, this exact pod from the exact same plant in August is significantly hotter than it is now. And this is a piping hot pepper. So that'll do it. Um, in the description box, you're gonna see a link. Listen, I'm, I'm very, here's the thing. I'm very blessed. I get to eat a lot of the, like the most exotic peppers in the world. And there are some peppers that like really exotic crosses that are in F stages that are not stabilized that, you know, growers send me because they want to get my take on it. However, all the peppers I've eaten so far this season, you can eat, you can. Yep. Um, so the way you can do this, go to the description box, click the link for Clayton Hollingsworth. Now, as I said in a video earlier, uh, the unboxing, he's not gonna have any peppers available for sale until after the Erie event, the League of Fire Erie event. So after that's over, you're gonna be able to get these pods directly from him. So you can be eating the pods that I'm eating. Just build your tolerance first or go easy when you do. So in the description box, you're gonna see Clayton. Remember, not until after the Erie event, but he will have pods. On the bottom, you're going to see my son and the lifeboat. Please check them out. And up on top, pepperology and all of the challenges I've done since this journey started. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.